Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at the max load combination and the design moment MX star, MY star for slab one. Just to give you a bit of perspective where we're at, we've found the depth of our slab and now we're going to be looking at the moments on our slabs at, at different regions. And then based on that, we're going to be looking at designing the reinforcing in order to handle that type of moment on our slab. So the first thing we need to do is work out the load on our slab. Now we're going to be doing an area load of 1.2G plus 1.5Q. This is straight from the standard AS1170.0 4.4.2. So we've found in the previous videos that the gravity load on our slab was 7.75 kPa plus 1.5 and the live load was at 5 kPa. So if you were to work this out, we would get 1.2 by 7.75 plus 1.5 by 5, 16.8 kPa. Okay, so this is the area load which acts on our slab. And as you can see, the 1.2 G and 1.5, they factor up. Okay, so they increase the load, it artificially increases the load, um, factors the load up, which makes our design safer because we are pretending we're designing for a higher load. So that is the area load on our across our slabs. Now to do the next part of this we need to look at the slabs of interest. So we're first going to be designing for slab number one. So slab number one, I'm just going to draw it over here. So we have slab one. So we need to know the LX and LY values. So they're the lengths of the short and long span. Now, because it's a square, it doesn't really matter.